Hi everyone, Trace here. Today we'll be making this paper strip pumpkin. It's really quick and easy. And these are the things you need to get started. Some paper punches, or a die cut of a leaf, a crocodile, some twine, a pokey tool, some art glitter glue, a bone folder, bead wire in a 20 gauge green color, scissors, two sheets of 6x6 six six cardstock, and a, a bit of green cardstock. Also, a paper trimmer. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is cut some strips. They're going to be 1 inch by 6 inch and you're going to need 12 strips all together. So the next step you're going to take your strips and if you were having two different patterns like this you would want to alternate them as you stack them. But this time I'm using all the same. So we're actually going to stack them all together. Use your crocodile on the 1 8 inch hole and you're going to punch a hole right through all 12 on both sides. Okay, then the next step is to use two brads. These are a little small, but they will work. You can use any color brads, silver, gold, colored, it doesn't matter. They won't show at the end. So just put those through the hole and secure that down really well. Both sides. Next you're going to take a bone folder and you're going to manipulate the fibers of the paper so they it arches a bit, giving it a nice rounded shape. Okay, next step is to separate all of the pages, strips and just push them aside. It can get a little tight at times. Just work through it. Make sure you, you grab all of the sheets and strips. And also try not to damage the edges of the paper with your fingernails. I tend to do that a bit. can get a little tight. Just make sure they're not stuck together. This glue is still on my fingers. So once you have those all separated, just make sure you evenly space all of the strips. And you can flatten it just a tad. Really cute so far. The next step is to add your leaves. As I was Doing this project, I tried out all these different punches and things, and so with the 
punches that I tried first, this was the first one and I felt that those were a little bit too big. So as the Goldilocks effects goes, that was too big and these are too small. So then I tried the die cut next. So, as the story goes, with the, the last try, was just right. So those are the ones we went with. Now, with the leaves, you want to take your bone folder and just curl the little edges of the leaves. I feel that it makes a little more realistic type look to it. Before we attach that, we're going to make our little curly cue. So you're going to need your wire and your pokey tool and leave about an inch or so gap right there. Got some glue on my fingers. So you're going to wind that around several times, maybe at least five or ten. Make it nice and tight. should be good and then just pull that off and use your scissors or wire cutters to just cut that right off next you're going to attach your leaves with some glitter glue and so just put a little dab on the back, attach it to there, try not to push too too hard down. And this glue will dry clear. with your little curly cue you want to pull that apart some and with the tail that you made you want to attach that right into some of the leaves right behind it underneath it the glue will secure that down then you want to add some glue to the back of your bow that in the center and that'll do it very cute quick and easy paper pumpkin make sure that glue is nice and secure for your bow thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and have a great day bye bye